Hello my dear children, I am Anupama and I welcome you to Nagesh Karasgi Orchid School channel once again. I am here to teach you a lesson in English for grade 8 and the lesson number is lesson number 4, Pipin Choudhury's Lapse of Memory. My dear children, we have already done with the two sessions of this chapter. Today we are going to continue with the third session. So before we continue with this session, let us recap every, everything in nutshell. So the title Pipin Choudhury's lapse of memory, lapse is something I told you, failure of something. So here we are talking about Bipin Choudhury who is the main character of this story and we can see that he has forgotten an entire episode of his trip to Ranchi. So in first session we have seen that some habits, some behavior, some pastime hobbies were been discussed of Bipin Chaudhary. That is, he had he used to go to a firm regularly. While returning every Monday, he used to drop himself at Kali Charan's new market, wherein every time he used to purchase some books. He was really fond of reading some books, books related to crime, ghosts, thrillers and so on. And then that time we could see that there was one fellow whose name was Parimal Ghosh. He was completely stranger to Bipin Babu because Bipin Babu did not know him. But when this fellow approached Bipin Babu, he made him realize that he had been to Ranchi in the year 1958. And then all of a sudden Bipin Babu did not recall or not even remember he had been to Ranchi. Though he had planned many a times, but he was not successful. He had never been to Ranji. Parimal Ghosh, the one who was stranger, who was the intruder to Bipin Babu, he told about all bits and bits detail of his trip to Ranji. He told that he was the fellow who arranged the car to take Bipin Babu to Hudro Falls. He even told that at Hudro Falls, Bipin Babu had fallen down and he got injury on his right knee, he got a cut on his right knee. As well as he told that he preferred to leave in the bungalow wherein the food was supposed to be made by Bavarji because he did not like hotel food. He even told that he had accompanied with Dinesh Mukherjee, one of his friend. And then even he told that whenever he, he used to go to any sightseeing, used to carry a bag of books as well as when Bipin Babu was not ready to listen Parimal Ghosh or did not even entertain him, he kept on saying that he had never been to Ranchi, Parimal Ghosh told some intimate details about Bipin Babu, saying that he was married and he lost his wife 10 years back. He had no children and as well as he told about his brother's insanity. So when Bipin Babu heard all these things, but he doesn't, he did not pay any attention and he left that place. At that time, Parimal Ghosh was completely shocked with this attitude of Bipin Babu. Bipin Babu was quite confirmed that he had never been to Ranchi till now. And when it comes in the year 1958, he does remember that he had been to Kanpur at Haridas Bakchi's place to perform one puja in Kanpur. So he does remember this but he did not he does not remember about the trip wherein he had been to Ranji. That means this was the first, first witness who told Bipin Babu or who made him believe that he had been to Ranji in 1958 but he did not believe so. Later on the same thought kept on continuing in the mind of Bipin Babu and so the reason he thought that he should ask Haridas Bakchi. But there was no question to ask him because he had already left with his wife a week before to Japan and he did not know his address as well. So there was no even question to Bipin Babu because he knew very well, he was damn confident that he had never been to Ranchi in the year 1858 nor ever in his life also. But then again the same thought kept on continuing. 
whereas he does remember that he was assigned with a responsible job in a good firm and he does not remember that he had done any major mistake in his work till now because he was a really responsible employee of that firm so why this thought is now making him ponder all the time that i had never been to ranchi but how could i mean like he whatever the details were been given by parimal gosh about uh, his personal life about the cut which he had got on his right knee everything was correct but except one mistake that is he had been to ranchi so he thought that he should call his friend dinesh mukherjee because parimal gosh had told that when he had been to ranchi in the year 1958 parimal dinesh mukherjee was one of his friend who accompanied him so he thought to call dinesh mukherjee we even see how was dinesh he was a little having a sarcasm kind of a personality i mean he was quite funny and even bipin thought that if i would ask dinesh mukherjee and if it he also confirm that i had been to ranchi probably he would make really fun of me so he dropped the idea to ask him and then we even seen we have seen that the next day one more time the thought came that instead of meeting dinesh mukherjee face to face it is much better that he will call up dinesh mukherjee and confirm with all the ranchi trip because he thought that if i am not right in front of dinesh mukherjee and if he makes fun of me probably i will be saved of that embarrassment that will be caused in the conversation so what happens next we will see everything in detail my dear children i request everyone to open your page number page number 64 in your honey dew textbook i expect that you are with complete attention be with pen or pencil in the hand because i'm going to read the chapter explain you the difficult word meaning as well as phrases so i'll just read few lines which i have already read so that will go with the starting thing next day in office in the office pipin babu noticed that with every passing hour every passing hour means after every hour the previous days encounter encounter means the meeting which we which he had with parimal gosh was accompany accompanying accompanying means what he was pondering he was thinking much of that more and more of his mind what what was occupying that was the thought that he had never been to ranchi whereas parimal gosh made him to realize made him believe that he had been to ranchi so that thought was occupying more and more of his mind If the man knew so much about Bipin Babu, how could he make such a mistake about the Ranchi trip? So he thought that how is that possible? If the fellow knew everything about my personal detail, then how he can make a mistake of Ranchi trip? So probably now this thought was making Bipin Babu realize that either he is with forgetfulness now. probably he is going crazy or he is losing losing his memory so just before lunch bipin babu decided to ring up ring up means nothing but to call up dinesh mukherjee dinesh mukherjee the friend who had accompanied bipin babu at ranchi trip it was better to settle settle means to finish or to resolve the question over the phone at least the embarrassment embarrassment is nothing but the shame on his face would not show so whatever the embarrassment if if fortunately dinesh mukherjee also unfortunately i must say here now as if now if unfortunately dinesh mukherjee would confirm that yes bipin babu was with him in the year 1958 and when if it he confirms that yeah you had been to ranchi so once it is sure once it is confirmed by dinesh mukherjee probably for bipin babu would be the biggest embarrassment shame and so just to save himself from that shame he thought that instead of meeting him face to face it is much better to call him and get the confirmation 2 3 5 6 1 6 
Bipin Babu dialed the number. So this was the number of Dinesh Mukherjee. Hello, is that Dinesh? This is Bipin here. Well, well, what is the news? I just wanted to find out if you recalled an incident which took place in 58. So the moment when he called Dinesh Mukherjee, he asked that I just want to know one incident that had happened in 58. 58, what incident? Who has asked this? Dinesh. Then Bipin Babu says, were you in Calcutta right through that year? Now why Calcutta? Because probably this story is happened to have in Calcutta. And so he confirms that were you in Calcutta in that year? That is the first thing I have got to know. So he first confirms that whether you were in Calcutta or somewhere else. This is the first thing Dinesh my friend I want to know from you. And then Dinesh says, wait just a minute. Uh, 58, um, just let me check in my diary. So Dinesh says, that if you are asking me something about 58, this is down the line 5 to 6 to 7 years back. So I need to check with my diary. Give me a second. For a minute, there was silence. Bipin Babu could feel that his heartbeat had gone up. He was sweating a little. So my dear children, please do underline these all these uh, lines. Means what? Like the moment when there was a silence, Bipin Babu could feel that his heartbeat had gone up. Because somewhere initially he was so confirmed that he had never been to Ranchi. So he was not that much worried. He was not bothered about that thought. But slowly, slowly when this thought was occupying his memory, he was pondering all over that if Parimal Ghosh knows everything, my intimate details, then probably there are possibilities that Parimal Ghosh is not mistaking. Maybe my memory is somewhere, uh, you know, lapsing or I am getting with forgetfulness, something like that. So, he thought that probably now Dinesh Mukherjee will also confirm that I had been to Ranchi. So, the reason his heartbeat had gone up. And I think so this even happens with you my dear children that sometimes uh, you have done some mistake. You don't remember that and later on your own memory keeps on telling that this might have happened with you only. And then uh, slowly when the fault comes to your side and when you start realizing that it's not another uh, someone else but it is because of you then all of a sudden before you get caught in that incident definitely your heartbeat starts you know growing fast and at the time Bipin was even sweating he was perspiring and then back with the conversation Dinesh Mukherjee says hello Yes, I have got it. I would be in to out twice. So Dinesh says, yes, yes, I got the information fed from my diary. That is, I had been out. Out means from Calcutta twice in that year, in the year 1958. And then Bipin asks, where? And then Dinesh says, once in uh, February, nearby to Krishna Nagar to a nephew's wedding and then but you would know about this one the trip to Ranchi you were there too and that is all but what is all this sleuthing about sleuthing you can find the meaning that is in the glossary sleuthing is something which you are trying to investigate about any incident any matter or an event so, when Dinesh Mukherjee gets with his information, he confirms that yes, twice I had been out of Calcutta, once in the month of February wherein he had been to Krishna Nagar to his nephew's wedding. He says this was the first time and when it comes for second time in the year 1958, but why to ask uh, Bipin, you know very well that we had been to Ranchi in the year. Don't you know this? And then what is all this? What, what, what is wrong with you? Why are you investigating? What, what happened with you? So this is what the reply 
been made by Dinesh Mukherjee too. Then, Bipin Babu slammed the receiver. Slammed means what? To put the receiver with 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 a force or with some violent effort. Now he is going nuts. He is going crazy now. Down and gripped his head. Gripped means to hold tightly his head with his hands. He felt his head swimming. Swimming means to get unsteady or confused. A chill seemed to spread over his body. A chill seemed to spread over his body means what? All of a sudden when you come to know some surprising thing or if you are shocked of some any news, you get goosebumps on your body. So the moment when this was the second person who got with the confirmation that yes Bipin, you had been to Ranchi in the year 1958 and why you are asking me the same because you know very well. So once this confirmation was from Dinesh also, he got goosebumps, he got chill seem that to be spread on his body. Then there were sandwiches in his stiffen box but he did not eat them. He had lost his appetite. Appetite is nothing but the condition where you feel very hungry. So the moment when this was confirmed from Dinesh Mukherjee that he had been to Ranchi in 58, his head was swimming, he got confused, he was going crazy. He did not understand what to do. So at that time, it was lunch time. He had some sandwiches in his stiffen box, but he was reluctant. He was not at all feeling to eat, open the box and eat those. So this is all about second part. We will move for the third part of this chapter. After lunch time, Bipin Babu realized that he could not possibly carry on sitting at his desk and working. Underline the word carry on, carry on means to continue with some task. So this was the first time ever in his lifetime that he had been working continuously, honestly, promptly, responsibly in his firm for last 25 years. But this was the day wherein he thought that he could not possibly carry on, he could not continue. At that moment, he was going mad, he was going nut, he was caught in a tight, tight spot. So the reason he thought that it's all done, I cannot continue my work as if now. Because he was so much confused with all the information. This had never happened in 25 years, he had been with the firm. So this was the first time where he thought that he should wind up everything, close all the work and he should go back to some place where he can call all those things whatever been confirmed by Parimal Ghosh and Dinesh Mukherjee. So he had a reputation, reputation is nothing but a name or a fame for being a tireless, tireless means without getting tired, conscientious worker. Now conscientious worker means what? The one who is very responsible, the one who is very careful, the one who is all the time correct in his work. So this had never happened. He was working all the time tirelessly. He was given with responsible job. He was given with responsible work assignments. And but today his head was in a vril. Now this is an idiom, his head was in a vril. In a vril means a state where you get confused or you are unable to think clearly. So as he was feeling tired, he was tired, I mean like he was very tired. He was conscientious worker, means what? He was very responsible worker. But as if now you can see that his head was going mad. Then back at 2.30. Bipin Babu lay down in bed and tried to gather his wits together. His wits gather, gather his wits together again. This is an idiom. This is something. Make an effort to become calm and think clearly. So again one time he thought that I should control, I should have good control on myself. I should try to recall everything, what has happened exactly and everything. So he he makes an effort to calm down himself and then he knew that it was possible to lose one's memory through an injury in the head 
but he did not know of a single instant of someone remembering everything except one particular incident and a fairly recent and significant one at that so now this is what like the moment when he thought that he should calm down himself he should think properly again one time the thought came that how is that possible for me i do remember everything everything means everything in my life he he even makes him believe that this condition of forgetfulness happens when if a person gets any injury in the head but even he doesn't remember that he had any injury in the head so the reason because of that he has forgotten this thing but again he says how is that possible i do remember everything only one thing i don't remember that is the trip to ranchi so this is then a big question to bipin babu and a fairly recent fairly recent means what something which has taken very recently that is something 6 to 7 years ago and significant significant which is which is very important one at that he had always wanted to go to ranchi to have gone there done things and not to remember was something utterly impossible utterly impossible means what completely impossible so he does remember that he had made lot many efforts to be to go to ranchi but going at ranchi looking all those sights enjoying all those sightseeing and everything how is that possible that i don't remember so now what happens we will see at 7:30 bipin babu's servant came and announced so at 7:30 somewhere in the evening bipin babu's servant came to him and he said something chuni babu sir says it's very important and then he tells who servant bipin servant tells him that bipin babu has come sir and he says that he has some important work with you bipin babu knew what chuni had come for chuni lal had been at school with him he would been ha- he had been having a rough time lately and had been coming to see him about a job so now my dear children underline the word having a rough time having a rough time means what probably now here we can see that chunni lal chunni lal is bipin babu's schoolmate very old friend okay so this fellow has lost his job who chunni lal has lost his job and so the reason he was suffering from problem at that moment he was suffering having a lot of problem so the reason he had been coming to bipin babu for the job he had been having a rough time lately and had been coming to see him about a job so he wanted to have a job wherein he thought that his school friend his best friend bipin babu would probably help him to get a new job Bipin Babu knew it was not possible to do anything for him and in fact told him so but for some of the reason Bipin Babu was not in the condition that he would do something for Chunni Lal to get a new job and so the reason Bipin Babu had already told Chunni Lal that he won't he for some reason he cannot help Chunni Lal to get a job and he had already told this to chunni lal day before only but chunni kept turning up kept turning up means what to keep on coming up like a bad penny now this is an idiom my dear children underline this word turning up like a bad penny you can see this in glossary that is appearing at a place where one is not welcome so we can see with the above statement that bipin had already told chunni lal that he cannot do anything he cannot help chunni lal to get the new job but then too chunni lal had been visiting bipin babu's house every time which was actually not welcomed or liked by bipin babu so bipin babu sent word sent means what gave one more message that not only was it 
that not only was it not possible for him to see chinni now but not in several weeks so he passed on one message with his servant saying that tell tell chunni lal that not only today evening i am able to talk with chunni lal but tell him inform him at once that for couple of weeks i won't be able to meet you or probably talk you or do something for your need then but as soon as the servant stepped out of the room it struck it struck means it came something Bipin Babu that Chunni might remember something about the 58 trip. So now, my dear children, what had happened? Chunni Lal was Bipin Babu's schoolmate. He had lost his job, and then he thought that he should go to Bipin, his school friend. Probably, his school friend would help him to get a new job because he was doing very. He was passing through bad time of his life. but bipin babu for some of the reason couldn't help chunni lal and he had already told chunni lal that he cannot do anything for him as if now so the moment when bipin babu servant told that chunni lal had come to see you bipin babu replied to the servant saying that once for all inform him that not only today but for couple of coming weeks i won't be able to talk to chunni lal and the moment when the servant was about to leave something came on the mind of bipin babu he thought that as he is chunni lal uh, bipin babu's school friend chunni lal would remember everything about bipin probably he would even remember the trip of ranchi wherein in the year 8, 1958 he had been there so he thought what he thought there was no harm in asking him so he thought that as if now if chunni lal had come to my house it is much better that i should approach chunni lal and i should ask if he does remember anything about my trip to 58 and then he says to himself that what is the harm to just ask chunni lal casually so bipin babu hurried down the stairs and into the living room chunni was about to leave but seeing bipin babu appear he turned round hopefully he turned around hopefully means what he thought that probably bipin is with some good news of a job so the moment when he saw bipin babu climbing down the stairs and when he finally came in his living room bipin chunni lal was about to leave but he was hopeful once he saw bipin babu and then bipin babu did not beat about the bush please underline this idiom he did not beat about the bush means what he did not talk about any nonsense things he directly came and straightly came to the matter came to the main point and then what he asked to chinni lal listen chinni i want to ask you something you have a good memory and you have been seeing me off and on off and on means every time now and then for a long time long time why it is long time because chunni lal is schoolmate school friend of bipin babu just throw your mind back throw your mind back means just recall something in the past incident and tell me did i go to ranchi in 58 chunni said 58 it must have been 58 or was it 59 so till now what we have seen my dear children that bipin was going mad as the days were progressing he called dinesh mugerji to confirm at once that whether he had been to ranchi he got the confirmation that yes he had been to ranchi in the year Eight, 1958 and once this was the confirmation made by dinesh mukherjee he was going mad and finally when he was at his home chunni lal his schoolmate had come to meet bipin babu to get a job wherein bipin babu for some reason was not able to help chunni lal for this so initially he avoided to meet chunni lal 
Later on, he thought that as he is my schoolmate, he is my long friend. He has been with me since my lifetime. So there is no harm that I should confirm once from Chunni Lal at least that whether I had been to Ranchi in the year 58. And when he asks this question, we'll see whether if Chunni Lal also confirms that yes, he had been to Ranchi or no. So today I'll rest my session over here. We'll continue in the next session. Till the time, you take care of yourself. Bye-bye everyone.